least that's what I've been told. The same. Well, I would have thought so too. For saving me. This isn't much, but I want you to have it. this discovery, you will have access to coal in Japan. You shall never need to worry about fuel again. You have not disappointed me. Please continue to look into this matter. Well, speak of the devil. My friend, perhaps you would like your reward now. Take a gander inside. There, see? I told you I was no liar. Commodore, this is my, excuse me, our friend I was telling you about. It's thanks to them we were able to secure the coal. Mark my words, your fame is about to far exceed your brother's. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have some business to attend to. Till next time. I heard you helped Samuel out. There's no need to be so modest. I'm much obliged. Never mind that. I remember your face, you know. <laughs> no need for alarm. Your partner told me all about you. You're somewhat surprised, I'll wager. But it's true. I rescued your partner. And fear not. 
What is past is past. I took them with me to the States. And they're back here in Japan now. But that's all I know. Well, if you wish to balance your ledger, I've got some work you could take on. My men seem to have got into the habit of brawling with expulsionists in the port. I want it stopped. If we fought them openly, our standing with your great nation would suffer. But there need to be consequences. What do you say? Would you kindly give a taste of justice to those expulsionist thugs for me? And listen, I know you people are warriors and all, but I don't want a bloodbath. That's in nobody's interest. Should there be casualties, I fear we shall become even more unwelcome. Do what you can, you hear? I saw it with my own eyes! You just see what you want to see! Oh, look at this one! You one of their pals? Never seen him. What do you want? Tell that to those fools! These barbarians have been terrorizing the local fishermen. And we won't stand for it. Not against our people. You filthy liar. We were just teaching them about the good old US of A. You're just looking for excuses to pounce on us. The Commodore say that? I guess we got no choice. No more trouble. Scout's honor. Yeah, <laughs> you got off easy, you sons of bitches. Bet you're all thanking your lucky stars right now. You've got some nerve. Time to put you out of your misery! Don't do that! for letting you fight all of them alone. <sighs> Things have finally cooled down. You know, all them foreigners did was ask about our whaling techniques. Even said they'd show us some of their grappling moves in return. They weren't causing any trouble to no one. That's like he says. We were just showing them some wrestling moves. Thanks for clearing that up. My pleasure. 
By the by, I don't know how much good it'll do to tell you, but... I heard a fellow talking with one of those expulsionist samurai. Something about persuading the court's big shots to stop trading with other countries. And if that happens, those foreigners will have to leave, won't they? It just doesn't sit right with me. <laughs> oh, you're doing me I trust. Yeah, <laughs> Ah, it's you. It seems you took care of that trouble between my men and the expulsionists. You did well to bring them to heal, without anyone getting killed. Well, either way, that's one less worry for now. proof enough for me. This is the evidence I've been waiting for. That very official will be at the British Trading House, where I'm planning to pay a call and present him with a gift. I want you to carry the gift and take the opportunity to sniff around. And if they're really plotting something, kill them. Am I clear? If you've got something to say, Now's the time.
Say there's another way, and you don't have to kill anyone. That work for you? Now, if you're clear on the particulars, you'd best get started. Very well. I am confident your efforts won't be for nothing. The gift I'm talking about needs to be picked up from English House Number One. Once you've got it, take it to the British Trading House. Don't let me down. Finally, I can breathe again. Whew. That was a little scary. Thanks for chasing those guys off. They think every Westerner's an enemy. Tell me, are they all such good-for-nothings?
Oh, right, then I'll get to business. Kentucky bourbon, the finest you can find. It's in the room back there. Feel free to go on and take it. You, uh, you better drink that stuff neat, though, okay? You're the bodyguard. Then I'll deal with this man! Seems things have calmed down somewhat. Well, we made it at last. Trouble, I suppose. It seems the British have already taken care of him. All it took was a certain golden cake and some scotch. Well, anyway, it saved us the trouble of having to do something ourselves. Forgive the delay, but allow me to present you with some of our nation's finest bourbon whiskey. I hope you enjoy it. So this is America's famous bourbon. This is welcome indeed. Relations between our great nations will remain amiable as long as I have anything to do with it. It seems negotiations will continue. I owe you my thanks. That's enough. You may consider your ledger balanced. That's right. You're off the hook. Sorry for all the trouble. In fact, I've actually prepared something special by way of thanks. Drop by the Grand Villa in Yokohama, won't you? See you around, Blade of the Veiled Edge.
There you are. I wanted you to have this. You worked hard, after all. I think we should stay in touch in the future. You amenable to such an idea? Friends, huh? I guess we are. We shared a cause, and now I've got my first Japanese friend. See you around. So we meet again. Well, what is it? The Japanese value their traditions and will fight bravely to defend them. Or at least they will, if someone orders them to. That's why I'm targeting the powers that be. It's the way to get things done. One other thing. The Japanese have a lot of curiosity. I mean, I clearly interest you, am I wrong? Damn right. It's a hell of a drink. That government bigwig's in for a treat. Seems you people like to drink as much as me. I heard those expulsionist samurai have got a taste for beer, by the way. Well, that's one thing we've got in common. You got me figured out. See you around. See you around.
you so much! Thank goodness you stepped in. Things were getting pretty heated. I trust you are keeping well. Hmm. Thank you for coming. Oh, do you speak true? Please, I would be delighted with your aid. How goes the cat search? I hope they are all safe and well. Farewell, noble warrior. Until we meet again. Thank you for coming. Oh, and what would you like to discuss? The place of my birth. Oh, please, don't make me talk about something so embarrassing. Just imagine me as the daughter of whomever it pleases you to imagine. Raised in the manner you find most appealing. When in dream, reality too is within dream. And upon waking, the reality of the dream is known. This is our shared dream, right here. Here, dream and reality are one. Hmm. With cats, it is not a question of my fondness for the creatures. But rather, when I hear their feeble cries, my breast begins to swell quite uncontrollably. That probably sounds strange to you, but I don't know how else to put it. Perhaps you would like to speak of other matters. Simply perfect. <laughs> I was just thinking how dearly I would like to talk to you. Let us forget about the cold, harsh world. For now. All we need is you and me. Would you be interested in watching me dance? Then I shall make preparations at once. Oh, I completely forgot. The shamisen that accompanies my dancing is broken. I cannot dance after all. I have been meaning to commission a new one, but I'm in need of a craftsman with the requisite skill. Hmm. One also requires the finest quality of skins in order to make an exemplary shamisen. 
As for the silk threads needed for its strings, why, I suppose I could disrobe this minute and secure some threads from my garments. <laughs> Just my little joke. <laughs> huh? You do not seem to be very amused. You know, if you were any other customer, our time together would be over already. But whenever I am with you, there is so much more I want to do. I wonder why that is. <laughs> Please, this way. Tell me what's on your mind. What is it? For my own reasons, I became a geisha of my own volition. But there are many here who cannot say the same. Most come into this life either because of poverty or punishment. Whatever it is, they all have their reasons. Please, don't go around prying into every girl's story. Oh, I've known about you since long ago. All sorts of talk echoes around the walls of the Pleasure District each night. The wheels spinning in Edo, Kyoto, a whole nation. Of course I was going to hear about a fearsome Ronin appearing in Yokohama. I look forward to seeing what you get up to next. I see. Till next time, then.
So it seems you've been speaking to a lot of people. Heard anything interesting? That's the American guarded by that samurai you're seeking. Well, after what happened the other night, that's no surprise. So it seems you've been speaking to a lot. Sure thing. No problem. I'm always happy to talk. I just posted a letter to my older sister. Have I ever told you about her? When I was a kid, I used to get bullied a lot for wetting the bed. It was always my sister who stood up for me. I'm forever grateful to her for helping me stop that bad habit. Our mother died young, so it was really my sister who raised me. What's your family like? I assume you're not actually tied by blood. Well, it's our heart that tells us who our family is. Who cares if you're really related by blood? Do you remember Izo Akada? We share no blood ties, but there are times he's felt like my own counterpart. I know he sometimes takes things too far. But to me, he's one of the good guys. From here on out, you're going to be meeting all sorts of people. You're bound to get close to some of them. And before you know it, family. Who knows? Maybe it'll even happen to you and me. There you are. Can I help you? Ah, I am an open book. Swimmingly. The black ships run on coal after all. Why, the Americans can't get enough of it. That said, what really has my attention of late is petroleum. An unrefined subterranean oil that's presently finding use as a lantern fuel. If it can be extracted in prodigious quantities, it may become a replacement for coal. God knows, all the world may be vying for it before long. Nothing short of wonderful. Not to worry. We should probably both get back to work. I'm sure we'll meet again soon.